Join me in the high-end world of perfume as we discover a new signature scent. Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I am so excited for today's video. It's going to be a fun, girly video. We're gonna be talking about perfume, signature scents, and beautiful evocative fragrances in today's video. Some of you may not know this, but I started blogging back in 2008, and back then my blog was primarily surrounding perfume. <laughs> I love perfume, I love scents, I love to read articles on it, I would read books on perfume. My love of perfume happened when I went to France, not with Madame Chic, but before. I went to spend six weeks in Cannes with my parents because my dad was working down there, and that is when my French love affair happened, basically. I loved all things French, and we traveled to Grasse in the south of France, and we toured um, the factory there for Fragonard, and I was just in love with perfume, and I have been ever since. Now, after having four children, I can tell you that my perfume preferences have changed, and my nose, as it were, has changed as far as what I love in a scent. And so for the longest time, my signature scent was Stella by Stella McCartney. I kind of grew out of that scent. I dabbled in various scents here and there, and nothing has quite stuck as far as a signature scent. What is a signature scent? A signature scent is one that you are known for. You wear it all the time, and hopefully it's not too overpowering. There's an art to applying perfume where someone can basically barely smell it on you, but they associate that scent with you. Of course, we all want to smell good. Nobody wants to smell bad. And so if you wear perfume when you choose one, you want it to be a beautiful scent, one that brings up good feelings in other people, and in yourself, of course. You could have a signature scent all the time, or you could switch it up seasonally. Okay, so today we're gonna to be learning all about Pinrose. This video is not sponsored by Pinrose. Um, I bought the sample pack for myself so that I can share my take on all of the perfume with you. They did contact me initially and I took their quiz. Based on my results, they sent me a few sample packs for what was recommended for me and I was so impressed with the scents and blown away with them that I ordered the entire sample pack by myself. That's this right here, where you get three of every single scent that they do and I'm going to go through them all with you now. So this is probably going to be a longer video, but I ordered this for myself because I just really wanted to do this video. So I will tell you that I took the scent quiz and I came out as secret genius. And I'll tell you what the scent notes for that are. But really quickly, let's talk about the scent quiz. Also, before we do that, I want to tell you that Pinrose perfumes are clean beauties. All of their ingredients are paraben and phthalate free. They're sustainably packaged and they're vegan. They don't test on animals. So that's good to know as well. Let's talk about the quiz really quickly. Here is what I like about the quiz, and I'm not going to do the whole quiz with you right now. I'll let you do that if you'd like to. Quiz takes about three minutes, but basically it shows you different pictures. So it's images, and you choose which one you like the best. So if you look at these two, for example, I don't know, I gravitate more toward the clouds. You're thinking, where is this going? If I see the green grass and the blue sky, I think, well, maybe I gravitate more toward the sky. If you see the golden honey or the mossy ground, I gravitate more toward the honey. You might have different choices than me, for example. So I'm not going to do the rest of the quiz. You could do that yourself and then decide. They recommend your perfume preference based on your results. So I had done that and I received Secret Genius. And Secret Genius is Madagascan vanilla, caramel, and sandalwood. It's very interesting because my whole life I have loved rose scents. I've just been a rose girl my whole life. So they do have a rose fragrance, I'll get into that, but they did recommend Secret Genius, not a rose scent. So I thought, okay. So they sent it to me and it's just a drop dead gorgeous smell. It is exactly what it says. It's vanilla, caramel, sandalwood. It is so warm and creamy and sweet, and it reminds me of just the perfect fall fragrance. I'm going to go through 
the um, samples for each one and tell you what the notes are, what I think of them. Some of them will be first impressions. Some of them I've been wearing, so I'll be able to give a more in-depth review. Just keep in mind that what I like is not necessarily what you like. You might like a completely different type of thing to me. So I will tell you my preferences from the beginning and then you'll know that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Secret Genius. And um, again, they call these petals. They're basically little sheets. They're like little towelettes and they are infused with the perfume. And what you do is you rub them on your pulse points and you can smell it right away. I mean, it smells so good. This is one I opened up this morning to try. So that's what they look like. So you can buy a sample pack and I think it's around $24. I'll leave them down below. So the nice thing about it is that you can try the sample pack um, it's so much better than just going to the perfume store and spraying a little stick and kind of waving it around your face. You really have to try it on. And this allows you to do so in a very affordable way. So let's go through this right now. So Secret Genius, I have a feeling this is their most popular scent. So again, it's Madagascan Vanilla, Caramel, and Sandalwood. So if you like that kind of fall um, sweet scent, if you like that you know, cooking, the caramel aspect of it, you will love this. This is the one that I requested in the full size. Okay, let's go down the list here. I'm just gonna dump these all here. Some of them I have not tried before. Um, and I kind of hate that I'm wasting all of this for the video, but I I'm just doing it. <laughs> so let's smell Wild Child now. Wild Child, there we go. I have not tried Wild Child. This will be the first time, so let me open it first. Hmm. Okay. So the notes of Wild Child are gardenia, jasmine, and frangipani. And it's good. It's a very green scent to me. There's a lot of gardenia. It's gardenia, it's green, it's very floral, very clean. Yes, it's really nice. There is a lot of jasmine in there too. So if you like those types of scents, um, that one would be really good for you. I'm gonna kind of put it back in there. I don't know if I can use these again. <laughs> okay, so there's Wild Child. All right, Mystical Misfit. I have tried this one. Mystical Misfit. This one is so good. In fact, it rivaled secret genius for me. So this is peach, berry, and patchouli. I'm not gonna open up the sample because I've actually worn this a few times since they sent me three samples already. And it is perfect for summer. I mean, there you go, if you can see that. It's just a perfect summer fragrance. It is peachy, berry. The patchouli is very light. It is not strong. Um, it is very sweet. Um, there's nothing kind of woodsy or masculine about it at all. It's a very girly and feminine fragrance. And I would say that so far from everything that I've tried, this is my second favorite. It's called Mystical Misfit. Also, based on my scent profile, this was the second one that they recommended to me. So that quiz really is accurate, okay. All right, the next one is Pinrose. And where did it go? That was the one that I opened this morning, this one. I opened Pinrose this morning. Now I expected to actually like Pinrose the most because this is their rose scent. And the notes are rose, clove, and leather. So I opened it this morning and I wore it today. And I have to say, this really reminds me of Bulgari's Rose Essential. That was the one that I used to wear back in the day. I stopped wearing it because it got too strong for me and kind of gave me a headache. Okay, so this one is definite, it's a deep rose. It's a very strong rose. There are masculine aspects to it as well with the clove and the leather. Um, it is deeply romantic and there's bass notes to it as well uh, that go deep. It's a bit too strong for me, but again, what I like is not necessarily what you would like. Um, so, but I like that it's not just a syrupy, sweet, girly rose fragrance. Um, it is a deep, true rose fragrance, and it's nice. I just think that ever since I had kids, I've become more sensitive to scents, and I like lighter things. So this is a deep, heavier rose fragrance. That's just my opinion. Okay, so let's go down next to Merrymaker. Now, I have not tried Merrymaker, 
and I'm excited to try this one. Okay, so this one is Nectarine, Plum, and Tonka Bean. So here's the sample for Merry Maker. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open it up for the first time. Oh yes. Mmm. This is really lovely. It's, it's light and effervescent. It's like a champagne. I could see why they call it Merry Maker. It reminds me of a, a bubbly rosé or a pink champagne or something like that. So it's very light, green, floral, effervescent. So their notes were nectarine, plum, and tonka bean. Mm -hmm. So it, it does have that slight vanilla. So this is really nice. This would be a good spring, summer, light kind of spritzer type fragrance. And that one's really good. Merry Maker. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. Maybe I can reuse the sachets down the line. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them in a Ziploc bag or something because <laughs> I'm opening them all up for you in this video. Okay, next is Sun Saint. And I have worn this before. And this one is sea salt, coconut, and lime. This is exactly what you would expect. Think holiday in the Caribbean or some gorgeous beach resort. This is summer in a package. So it's really nice. There is that sea salt element to it that cuts into that that coconut and that lime, but it just, it smells like a really good tropical drink. And it's just the type of thing that you would wanna spray on if you were going to the beach. It is really light and fun. And I can't see this being a signature scent, but I could see this being a summertime scent if you were going to the beach or something. So I could see myself getting this in a tiny kind of travel spray and using it for that specific purpose. So I really do like Sun Saint as well. Okay, next is Tambourine Dreamer. And I'm gonna open this for the first time for you. I wasn't gonna look, but I looked. Okay, so it's Lily, Liang Liang, and White Musk. So this is their musky scent. I do like a good musk. So let's try it out. Mmm, that's a really, it's like a really sensual musk. And that lily is, is quite floral as well. It's very green, um, very ethereal, but yet grounded with that musk. It's, it's a, there's juxtaposition there with the lily and the musk there. So this is really nice too. So if you are more um, predispositioned to musk scents, you would like this one. It's called Tambourine Dreamer. Okay, I'm putting that back. I'm not gonna look at the next three. I'll open them first and then tell you what I think. Okay, the next one is Pillow Talk Poet. And I know one of you took the scent quiz and you told me that they recommended Pillow Talk Poet. I'm not gonna look. I can already kind of tell. Pillow Talk, you can kind of tell what it's going to be. But let's open it up first and then I'll look at the notes. Hmm. I do get a powder. So what does it say? Powder ambergris and musk. Okay, so it's like a musky powder. I don't know what ambergris is as far as scent, scent profile goes, but it's definitely, mm, this is just a very powdery, romantic, musky scent. This is good. So this is another musk one. Pillow Talk Poet. So you get the impression that it's a very sensual, romantic, poetic fragrance. That one is really nice. Okay, Pillow Talk Poet. The next one is Lil Dipper, and I'm not going to look to see what the scent profile is, and I can't even imagine with a name like Lil Dipper what that is, maybe like a cosmic type scent. Let's see. Hmm, this one seems very fresh and green. Peony, lavender, and creamy sandalwood. Okay, now I'm getting the sandalwood notes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's funny because it's kind of like a masculine scent with the sandalwood, but then it also has that feminine aspect with the lavender and peony. That one is really nice too, a little dipper. So that one is a bit fresh, a bit green. Okay, and we're at the last one here, which is Gilded Fox. I don't know what this is. I'm going to wait. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I smell alcohol. Like right off the bat, I think of a drink. And chocolate. 
Yes, cocoa, rum, and vetiver. Okay, so this is a very strong kind of masculine scent for me. And there's a bit of sweetness from the chocolate, but it's like a mocha type sweetness. This, this smells like um, a mocha alcoholic drink. <laughs> That's what it smells like. I mean, in a good way. So that one is very deep too and, and very bold and very masculine. I would say that was as bold as the Pinrose scent. So there you have it. I tried all of the fragrances. I wore Pinrose all day today. I still smell it on my wrist and I wrote the notes initially. I said, not sweet, um, rose essential, masculine aspect, um, strong, deep and romantic. That's what I wrote about Pinrose. So I have to say that based on my own personal scent preferences, the quiz was really correct in recommending to me Secret Genius and Mystical Misfit. Those are my two favorite of the, um, of all of the perfumes that I just sampled for you today and that I've tried in the past. And I love them. I love that they're not too heavy, that they are, they're just good. And I remember when I got the sample packs, I really wanted them to last. And the next day I thought, oh, should I wear one? You know, because I don't want my samples to go away before I order more. So I think it's a wonderful company and you can buy a sampler kit if you, if you wanna try out the scents for yourselves, or you could take the quiz as well. I think that's a good idea to do anyway, just to kind of narrow down your scent preference. I will leave everything down below, including a coupon code. If you end up taking the quiz, let me know what your scent preference is, and I would love to know what you think of the perfume if you try it out. All right, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like girly feminine videos like this and I will do more of them. Thanks so much for watching today and I will see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye.